let not handsome, but inexpensive, sometimes comfortable and quite reliable. Approximately so it is possible to characterize our present ward. Let's make a reservation right away, there is absolutely nothing to desperately scold and stigmatize him. Although the machine has a lot of shortcomings and weaknesses. As a result, all the troubles associated with it are solved in quite budgetary ways. With rare exception. In Russia, a South Korean assembled car was sold, as well as Russian from 2012 to 2014 with a 2.5-liter gasoline engine with 206 horsepower and 150 horsepower diesel. After the second restyling, 2013, 23 horses were added to the diesel engine and it became 173 horsepower. From the boxes for both engines was available mechanics. The gasoline engine was sold with a variator and the diesel engine relied on an automatic drive type complete with a lockable electromagnetic clutch. In fact, Technically the car repeats the Nissan X-Trail, the popularity of which, due to its appearance and richer market sales experience, turned out to be significantly higher. If you believe the forums of the owners, there are not many complaints about them in terms of reliability. Indeed, dynamics can hardly be named among the virtues of this model. The gasoline unit, it is of a rather old design, is rightly accused of high fuel consumption. Especially in the city. With a diesel engine, problems are typical monitor the quality of the fuel and the condition of the fuel equipment. To a greater extent, the problems affected the variator. Wear affects this node quite noticeably. Hum, crunch, vibrations. However, a regular, every 60,000 kilometers, oil change and maintenance of its cooling radiator pushed the problem a considerable distance. Sometimes flashing helps. The variator quickly gives up after sharp starts from a traffic light and long slips on the road. With the mechanics, or the machine, there are no characteristic and typical problems. Failures can occur mainly based on the manner of operation of a particular owner. Roughly the same words can be said about the transmission. Colios is not an SUV, so do not abuse the clutch lock. In difficult conditions, it tends to overheat and then it becomes impossible to control it. But really a mass misfortune for almost everyone can be considered a failure of the cart and shaft. This is after 100,000 kilometers of run. Replacing the assembly will require a couple of tens of thousands of rubles. Although there are more affordable options with repairs. There are complaints about the weak paintwork, but they are few. The main rusting part is the front subframe. It seems that it is closest to the ground, and therefore rots. Many recommend treating it ahead of time with anti-corrosive. However, the main misfortunes of the crossover are minor household mechanical problems, as well as troubles with the climate system and other electrical appliances. So, the cables of the locks break, the panoramic roof hatch sticks, and the roof itself creaks treacherously. The fifth door, its upper part, does not open well. Yes, and the locks of the lower sash also often jam. The rear seat backs rattle. They do not always agree to form into the flat floor promised by the manufacturer. And in front there is a distinct and in no way eliminated backlash of the seats. The car is very talkative. It rubs somewhere, crunches somewhere, creaks somewhere like the front pads. It's not easy to defeat them. Of the electrical problems, it is worth mentioning the chaotic actions of the climate control, the poor operation of the air conditioner, extraneous sounds from the passenger compartment fan, poor contacts of the rear light bulbs, incorrect operation of the rain sensor. But you never know where discomfort can suddenly arise from. And yet we were surprised by the huge number of warm and positive reviews on the forums on the internet about this car. And this despite the fact that dissatisfied people write there more often. Everyone pays tribute to a relatively inexpensive and generally quite reliable car. She earns her money in full. Another thing is that selling a fairly used Colios can be quite difficult. This is also recognized by almost everyone. Suspension. Racks and bushings of the front stabilizer are often responsible for knocking in the front suspension. If replacing them does not work, then most likely the reason is in the shock absorbers which will also have to be replaced. In general, the chassis is considered relatively strong, and there is a wide range of good quality and affordable suspension components on the market. Transmission. To avoid damage to the torque converter in a six-speed automatic transmission, it is recommended to change the oil at least once every three years, and also clean the storage magnet filters from metal chips. This will extend the life of the bearings and prevent premature wear of the box, whose resource can reach up to 300,000 kilometers. Engine. 
the 2.0-liter turbo diesel is reliable and hasn't shown any serious defects so far. There are cases of premature wear of the working layer of the liners, but, fortunately, no turning was recorded. According to experience, liners go up to 250 to 300,000 kilometers. Another infrequent problem is the death of the EGR valve body. By about the second or third year of operation, the first unpleasant signs of rust may appear under the rubber bands of door seals, on the outer surfaces of door frames, welds on doors and even pillars. We recommend treating dangerous places with anti-corrosive. Although the body of coleos is called galvanized, it is only partially. Electrician. Usually a lot of complaints from coleos owners come about the poor performance of the climate control, especially in winter. It happens that windshield wipers and power windows fail. Many are not satisfied with the power of the windshield washer motor. The failure of the electric trunk lock is also not uncommon. Everything in bits. In August 2008, Colios passed a crash test by the German company ADAC, in which he scored all five stars, despite some gap in points. In April 2009, Renault introduced a limited edition of the Colios called the Colios Black Edition. Renault it featured improved dynamics, trim, and improved options. This limited edition is only available in black and grey. In the UK, the crossover sold very poorly, so it was withdrawn from sales there in August 2010, with a total number of sales of 2,600 copies. In 2011, restyling was carried out, in 2013 the second restyling. In the South Korean market, it was sold as the Renault Samsung QM5 and was produced there as well. The QM5 had the same engines as the Colios. Production began at the end of 2007. Production of the first generation in Europe stopped in March 2015. Restylings In 2011, the design of the car has undergone a restyling. The main changes affected the design of the front of the body, but the interior has also undergone changes. The cabin has Bluetooth, DVD navigation. After 2011, the car was named Phase 2. Cars before restyling were called Phase 1. In 2013, another restyling was carried out. Its feature is a modified radiator grille. Now Colios is called Phase 3. Renault Colios was supplied to Russia with both petrol and diesel engines. Therefore, a potential buyer could choose the type of transmission. A 6-speed manual transmission and a CVT with 6 preset gears are available for a 2.5-liter gasoline engine and a six-speed hydromechanical automatic transmission, supplier Jatco, for a 2.0-liter diesel engine. Four-wheel drive is made according to the all-mode 4x4i scheme, which is present on the popular Nissan X-Trail. All engine thrust at the command of the driver can be transmitted to the front axle, or permanently to both axles, or the choice of driving mode is provided to the electronics. In the maximum configuration for Renault Colio's Lux Privilege, there is an audio system from Bose, which includes a six-disc CD changer, speakers in the doors and dashboard, and a subwoofer located in the trunk. There is a huge sunroof and a panoramic roof at the rear, a steering wheel adjustable in height and reach, a system for accessing the car and starting the engine without a key. Since July 6, 2016, it has not been sold in Russia.